Today I'll be unboxing this Netgear 5 port gigabit, gigabit Ethernet switch. Got it on sale from, uh, what's it called? Amazon for $12. Let's see in the box here. Pretty straightforward, plug and play. My existing network, even though it was a 10100, I was getting speeds of around, sorry, speeds of around 10 megabits, not too fast, and it's pretty small, I like it, it's probably going to use less electricity than my existing setup, you can see how small it is, about less than 4 inches, probably. Instructions on the bottom over here. This comes with a power adapter. Surprisingly, there is no Ethernet cable. It's just the power adapter. And instructions. So, bring this over here. Let's plug it and try out. As I mentioned before, I already ran tests and it was going around 11 megabits per second. I'm plugging my setup. Nothing fancy. You can see it's much smaller, it's nicer. I think uh, I don't have to worry about it as much. Super easy setup, I'm guessing. Plugs in the power. how it turns on and I'm just gonna slowly plug everything up one you can see it's blinking from one two finally three that's it there's what a working Netgear looks like. And so, final test is I'm going to try it on my computer. Ah. Here's my computer setup. I have a time capsule over here in this folder, my desktop PC folder over here. this delete this everything's set up before it was going on 11 megabits per second let's see uh, if it's any faster it might just be the same which is fine I'm just upgrading and hopefully it uses elect less electricity and you can see over here sorry I'm not using any new wires or anything. I'm using existing wires. It is a little bit faster. It's going, it's running from 16 to 17 to 15. So it did help. Uh, let me cancel that. I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna try copying from my time capsule onto my desktop folder. Uh, I'm going to take the file, drag it in. Let's see this baby. It's going even quicker. It's going at 22 megabits per second. And before I was running at 10 megabits per second. 
I mean, that's on the old DIR D-Link. So even without changing the wires, the gigabit is running faster. It's in some cases 50% to 100% fa faster performance. So I went from 11 megabits to 22 or what do you call it? When I did the other way, when I went from the PC to the time capsule, it was around 16. I'll try this again. So if I want to do drag that into there. You can see this still just 18, 19. So it's actually going up to almost, it's faster now this time it's at 19, but jumps down to 16. So I'm thinking it's around 50, above 50% 50 performance increase using this gigabit net gear. And if, if I, at least I had some good ethernet cables, I think you're supposed to use better ethernet cables. I, I don't know, I'm not an expert. Uh, now it's slowing down to 11, but jumping back to 18. This is performing a lot better than before. So, would I recommend it? I do believe so. Especially if you're running an old hub or switch. This might be more power efficient. It's much smaller, that is. So it's nicer. I can hide it better. You can see all these wires right now. I'm going to fix it right now, but so far it looks good. <sighs> Recently, I purchased a Netgear 5 port gigabyte Ethernet switch. I'm hoping it'll speed up my network a little bit. I have this desktop over here, and behind it is an Apple Time capsule. You can't see, but there's one over there. And it's pretty slow I'm running on my existing hub. It's actually a router turned hub, it's a D Link DIR615, I think. All you have to do is turn off DHCP and assign the IP address for this to be in the range of your existing router, but not, what do you call it, not too small so that it ha makes problems. So I just want to see what the speeds are right now. Uh, here's my time capsule folder. Now I'm going to copy over this, uh, this folder over here into my desktop. And you'll see that right now it's about 11.3, 11.2. It's not that fast. And it doesn't get much faster. That's as fast as it gets on my network. You cancel that. And I'm going to go reverse. Copy this. Copy from my hard drive onto the time capsule. Let's see how fast it goes. And this is at 10.8 right now. But it gets up to 11.2. 11.2. That's it. So around 11.2, 11.3. 11.1. I'm going to go ahead and now open, unbox this net gear and see what it's like. <laughs> 